So, a uh, little update. Um, uh, we haven't got very far with the hydro project at the moment. We're on a different phase of the project at the minute, which is um, getting a new heating system for the mill, um, which in time will be tied up with the hydro. But for the moment, uh, we've opted for a uh, wood fired solution. Um, more of that in a minute. But before we could do that, we had decided that we were going to uh, relocate the um, boiler house from where it presently is, which is attached to the mill, and put it in the um, barn, which is uh, detached from the house. Um, so obviously we required the uh, pipe work to be put in the ground, um, and that's what I've been doing, digging. Um, so let me show you. Uh, so this is the barn. Uh, it used to have be a pigsty in there, a uh, storage, little storage room at the end, pigsties in the middle, then in there were cows, uh, and that room on the end was uh, for the feed. And it's in there that we're intending to, well, we are putting the uh, new heating system. So um, before we do that, the, the plumbing had to go in, so we've dug, we've dug a trench roughly a metre deep. I've filled it in again now with pea shingle um, and bits and pieces. Uh, but these are the uh, pipes returning into the house um, as low as I could go. They're at 45 degrees entering the house. Uh, I've spaced them out uh, so as not to weaken anything too severely. Um, and they are um, large-scale gain with um, polyurethane insulation and the pipes inside and the pipes I don't know whether we can see them through here no too much reflection try again so this is where the pipes come into the house uh, and I've left a bit of length on there there's the uh, obviously the flow and return for the central heating uh, this is the hot water and this is the hot water recirculation circuit, uh, which will mean that we don't have to wait forever for the hot water to arrive. Um, it was no small matter drilling those holes. Uh, we, I, had to, I ended up, after going through many different options, uh, I ended up hiring a huge machine, which um, had to bolt to the floor and, and you wind it down through with water, um, lubrication and uh, that, that managed to get the holes. But it took a whole day to drill those four holes. Um, properly difficult. So back outside. Uh, the trench obviously then goes into the, into the barn. Uh, we had to dig out this room in here. It was just um, a bit of sand on the top that someone had sprinkled in from the, from the river. And then uh, underneath was clay and underneath the clay was water. Um, so it was proper, proper heavy going, um, again, all dug by hand. And then uh, hardcore um, and then compactable um, calcare, which is a compactable um, limestone and sand. And then on the top, 120 millimetres of reinforced concrete uh, with, oh, with a DPC. And yes, there's all the kinds of issues with DPCs and damp in the walls and the rest of it. Uh, but in this situation, it's obviously not a habitable building. Um, and it was important for me to have a dry slab. So we um, got this, pulled the slab again by hand. Uh, I've taken the ceiling, the roof out that was here. Uh, this is the, the barn as it is. Uh, the floor did continue straight across, but as you'll see, that uh, restricted our height somewhat. Um, and then this is the new heating system. Uh, that is a 2,000 litre accumulator tank, uh, and that is a wood gasification boiler, 40 kilowatts. Now, uh, don't test me on the rest of the gubbins because there it is they have obviously kind of um, gone over this a bit and the science is uh, quite heavy with, you know, with uh, regulating the temperature of the boiler, it's jacket itself to kind of op optimise the burn temperature and the rest of it. Um, 
So it's a it's an all singing, all dancing, modern thing. Um, I'm apparently expecting to burn 20 cubic meters a year. Um, and that is uh, just for the probably the main three to four months of the winter. The rest of the time, we've got uh, three panels, I'll show you, going on the south facing roof at the back and they're solar accumulate, uh, they're solar accumulate, uh, no, are they waterborne solar panels? Um, they have they don't have water inside. They have glycol inside, and they'll be going up there. And that's our new chimney for the boiler. Um, we've got three of these panels going on, which are over here. Have a look. What does it say? Flat plate collector. Not that informative. But yeah, apparently they're filled with glycol and they will cover our hot water needs um, over the summer. So, so basically. Um, I have to confess, I'm quite excited. Uh, we're hoping to have um, a, a form of ecological heating. Um, and the idea is, is that I will be connecting the hydro up to the um, immersion side of the tank. We're going to have two immersion heaters, two immersion heaters of three kilowatts. And I'm um, optimistically hoping perhaps that I'm going to get six kilowatts out of the... Um, out of the mill uh, once it's once it's up and going but that that yes that's a little more complex at the minute anyway i'll get back to you when i've done something else